ok friends let us look at the second session of this question and answers for the fourth week. So, look at the first question by 2022 India plans to produce what is the target for this renewable energy government is giving more emphasis on renewable energy Mr. Piyush Goyal is the renewable energy minister and as per his version government is going to produce 100 gigawatt of solar power by 2022 100 gigawatt of solar power 60 gigawatt of wind power and 5 gigawatt of minor hydroelectricity by the year 2022 remember these targets were given by mr piyush goel by 2022 india will have 100 gigawatt of solar power 60 gigawatt of wind power and 5 gigawatt of minor hydro power right look at the next question two highway projects were cleared in Jammu and Kashmir recently one is from Udhampur to Ramban the other one is from uh, Ramban to Banihal these two projects costs 3383 crore rupees so the right answer here is cabinet cleared two highway projects in Jammu and Kashmir at a cost of 3383 crore rupees right look at the next question USA and the other country opened historic talks to establish diplomatic relations which were strained since 61 these two countries did not have any diplomatic relations since 1961 America is capitalistic country Cuba took the path of communism and ultimately it has gone with the communist bloc and because of this and in those days one block of capitalistic society was led by America the other block of uh, communist society or socialistic pattern of ideas was held by Russia USSR in those days USSR was disintegrated into 12 countries in the year 1991 prior to its disintegration there were two entities one followed the capitalistic path the other one followed the socialistic path and one is led by united states of america and the other one was led by the then ussr and cuba has gone with ussr so diplomatic relations were cut off in the year 1961 between united states of america and cuba now ultimately these two countries decided to re-establish ties so remember cuba the capital is Havana and the currency is Peso, right? Look at the next question. Which of the following recently announced $1.3 billion bond buying program? If I ask you in euros, it is equivalent to roughly 1.1 billion euro. If I ask you in dollars, it is $1.3 billion. So this bond buying program I have already told you in the lecture advanced economies resort to this practice which is known as quantitative easing when there is a recession or depression coupled with the deflation what is recession recession is when there is negative growth for two consecutive quarters it is called recession what is deflation it is reduction in the prices we see always inflation developing countries like India bothered about inflation but developed countries are more bothered about deflation when deflation takes place nobody will come forward to invest in that country there will not be any demand for goods under those circumstances there will be lot of unemployment and associated problems will be there so under those circumstances advanced economies go for infusing liquidity into the system by purchasing bonds infusing liquidity into the system by purchasing bonds that is known as quantitative easing previously america has done it now bank of japan is doing and european central bank is also resorted to this it will buy bonds worth 60 billion euro every month for 18 months totaling 1.1 billion euro or other words 1.3 billion dollars when there is recession and deflation advanced economies resort to the practice of infusing liquidity into the system 
otherwise known as quantitative easing right look at the next question martin peters will step down as md and ceo of vodafone citing the personal reasons he is going to step down as md and ceo of vodafone india right look at the next question wind energy make suzlon mr tanti is the ceo of this suzlon decided to sell its wholly owned german subsidiary they decided to sell its german subsidiary because there is lot of debt burden on these companies so to avoid the to reduce the debt burden several companies are selling their assets either in india or abroad so as to pay their debt so suzlon is going to sell its wholly owned german subsidiary for a value of 1 billion euro 1 billion euro is roughly equal to 7000 crore rupees in indian currency right suzlon is indian company it is selling its wholly owned german subsidiary for a value of 1 billion euro which is roughly equivalent to 7000 crore rupees right look at the next question name the firm which unveiled wearable 3d gadget hollow lens this wearable 3d gadget hollow lens is unveiled by none other than microsoft microsoft recently unveiled hollow lens 3d gadget if you wear that the things will be seen in 3d perspective not in 2d perspective that is the speciality of hollow lens and at the same time they are going to launch windows 10 remember who are the founders of microsoft it is none other than bill gates and paul allen you are looking into the picture of mr paul allen and bill gates right they are the founders of uh, this microsoft and the present ceo is sachana adella right look at the next question to ensure transparency reserve bank of india recently advised banks to display average interest rates and total fee for various categories of customers for various categories of customers banks are required to display what is the average interest rate when you are granting loan to a businessman what is the interest rate when you are granting a loan to a small businessman what is the interest and what is the hidden fee you are imposing what is the processing fee you are imposing all these details are required to be made available right that is to ensure transparency rbi advised all the banks to follow this from april 1 2015 So the right answer for this question is April one, two thousand fifteen. Hopefully, from April one, two thousand fifteen, for all types of categories, what is the processing fee? What interest you are giving loans? All these things will be available to every customer. Probably online, they will be available through their websites. Right? This is the instruction given by RBI to follow from April one, two thousand fifteen. Look at the next question. Which of the following is primarily for BPO services in healthcare sector? In healthcare sector, for BPO services, it is Omega. Remember, Omega is the BPO in healthcare sector, right? Look at the next one. During Mr. Barack Obama's visit, during Mr. Barack Obama's visit recently, U.S. Trade and Development Agency, U.S. T.D.A. and respective state governments. signed memorandum of understandings to develop smart cities united states of america is going to develop three smart cities in our country one is asmir in rajasthan alahabad in uttar pradesh and visakhapatnam in andhra pradesh these three state governments had memorandum of understanding with united states trade and development agency or otherwise usdda so this azmir alahabad and visakhapatnam are going to be developed as smart cities with the collaboration of united states of america for that purpose recently mou was signed between the respective state governments and united states trade and development agency so here the wrong answer is that means gujarat is not the state that means no city in gujarat is included that's why which of the following state government is not associated with the right answer is gujarat right look at the next one 
name the foreign bank which is going to become wholly owned subsidiary in india last year rbi gave instructions if some foreign bank wants to establish their branches in india if some foreign bank wants to establish their branches in india it should be done through wholly owned subsidiary wholly owned subsidiary means they have to establish a subsidiary here and all the banks assets and all will be linked to that subsidiary that means if that bank collapses in foreign country nothing will happen to the indian financial system that means to insulate from the difficulties occurring in foreign countries the reserve bank of india came forward with the regulations that if any foreign bank if they want to start its indian branch they should follow through its only owned subsidiary so i would like to tell you this dbs dbs is nothing but development bank of singapore is the first bank which came forward to establish wholly owned subsidiary in india right next one name the airlines whose ownership management and control will be transferred to ajay singh spice jet was in deep trouble for the past 2 3 months several flight schedules were cancelled they could not pay the charges at several places they could not pay the fuel bill and aircrafts several aircrafts were grounded and this majority share of around 58% is owned by the kalanidhi maran's group of kal airways kalanidhi maran of sun network their groups kal airways owns majority share in spice jet now after the trouble they are selling their share to mr ajay singh so instead of kalanidhi maran mr ajay singh will become majority shareholder of spice jet in future so the 58% share which is the majority share with mr kalanidhi maran sukal airways will be transferred to mr ajay singh right next question recently integrated check post was opened at atari for exports from atari it is the border between india and pakistan their integrated check post was opened to have the imports from afghanistan right that means exports from afghanistan that means they will become imports to india i would like to tell you exports from afghanistan so as to facilitate exports from afghanistan a special integrated check post was opened at atari border that is the border between india and pakistan right look at the next question rgo is going to launch 4g services fourth generation telecom services rgo is nothing but reliance jio which is owned by mr mukesh ambani reliance jio is owned by mr mukesh ambani whereas at present reliance communications is owned by his brother anil ambani reliance jio is going to launch 4g services later this year and here the 4g services facilitate wireless internet at speeds of 30 to 40 mbps wireless internet at speeds of 30 to 40 mbps anyhow this is owned by mukesh ambani the right answer for this is mukesh ambani look at the next one recently special postal cover was released on dabbawalas who are dabbawalas there are 5000 dabbawalas in the city of mumbai there are 5000 dabbawalas in the city of mumbai and they carry almost 2 lakh tiffin boxes lunch boxes with accurate precision and 5000 dabbawalas carry 2 lakh lunch boxes and this is almost the talking point or you can say it is the subject for discussion at harvard business school so how they are carrying without any loss or without any misplacement how they are carrying they are all illiterate mostly so that became the talking point at harvard business school right so special postal cover was released recently on dabbawalas of mumbai right there are 5000 dabbawalas carrying almost 2 lakh lunch boxes in the city of mumbai right look at the next question yatri ticket suvidha kendras previously when you are required to purchase a train ticket you have to go to railway station or you have to go to their reservation centers now for purchasing railway tickets 
a facility was opened in various cities recently at three ticket suvidha kendras that is called ytsk right ytsk is at three ticket suvidha kendra and you can go to ytsk to purchase a rail ticket from now onwards right look at the next question rosetta mission for exploring comets remember rosetta mission is for exploring comets and this mission was started by european space agency to explore what how the comets look like and how the life or how the materials on comets european space agency started this rosetta mission right this is for exploring the comets this was launched by european space agency look at the next question rohingyas are muslims staying as refugees in bangladesh rohingya muslims several thousands of rohingyas muslims were displaced from their homeland of myanmar these muslims belong to myanmar and they were displaced because of agitation because of uh, uh, religious uh, animosity between buddhists and muslims in myanmar myanmar is predominantly buddhist country there this rohingyas are displaced and they are staying as refugees in bangladesh without proper facilities for stay without proper schooling without proper hospitals so this issue was raised recently by the president of united states of america right look at the next question 35th national games this time 35th national games are being conducted by kerala god's own country kerala right 35th national games kerala god's own country right look at the next question you ahead of the visit of the us president i have already told you during the visit of the us president a 10 year framework was signed for defense cooperation similarly before his visit a 5 years cooperation program was signed by india and us a joint declaration was signed for the next 5 years to support each other in the field of information and communication technology and electronics ict and electronics for 5 years a joint declaration was signed by india and us before the visit of president obama and remember 10 year framework is for defense 5 years framework is for ict and electronics right look at the next question salman bin abdul aziz al saud salman bin abdul aziz al saud will be the new king of saudi arabia he is becoming the king at the age of 79 and the ex king mr abdullah bin abdul aziz al saud died recently at the age of 90 saudi arabia remember it is the friendly country of united states of america and mr obama cutting short india's visit visited saudi arabia before going to united states of america from india right look at the next question as per the united nations resolution the accounts of jamaat dawa united nations ordered freezing of some accounts of some terrorist organizations this jamaat dawa is pakistan based organization they advised pakistani government to freeze the accounts of this terrorist organization jamaat dawa right look at the next question shri vidushekhar bharati was formally anointed as a successor to shri bharati teertha of shringeri math the answer is shringeri math shringeri math is in karnataka and shri vidushekhar bharati his previous name was venkateshwar sharma and he was anointed as the next successor to bharati teertha swami and this is shringeri math is in karnataka and he was anointed at the age of 22 years right look at the next question parliament of thailand decided to impeach former premier ingluk shinawatra ingluk shinawatra was the former premier of that country and recently parliament took a decision to impeach her if the charges are proved she may not be eligible to participate in the elections for next 5 years and she may also get jail term for next 10 years 
this Ingluk Shinavatra belongs to Thailand. So this Parliament of Thailand decided to impeach former Premier Ingluk Shinavatra. Right? Look at the next question. Abd Rabbu Masoud Hadi resigned as the President of Yemen. I have already discussed. Houthi terrorists attacked the Presidential Palace. They seized the Presidential Palace and meanwhile Mr. Ab Rabbu Mansur Hadi resigned as the President of Yemen. So Yemen is in trouble and Houthi rebels took not only Presidential Palace but also many several parts of Yemen also. Right? Look at the next question. Shia militia Houthis. I have already told you this question is probably repetitive question in different perspective. Shia militia that is Houthis. This terrorist organization took over the capital city which led to the nationwide protests in Yemen. So Yemen is in trouble now. right? Look at the next question. Haruna Yukawa who was executed by ISIS in the previous lecture. I told you ISIS took two Japanese as hostages demanding ransom of 200 million dollars but Japan could not pay that amount. Now one of the hostages Mr. Haruna Yukawa was executed by the ISIS militant group. They are executing several persons across the world. Basically they are looking at the persons from the countries like America, Britain, Japan. That means whoever are supporting the local governments because this ISIS is fighting against Iraq government as well as Syria government. So whatever the country is supporting Syria government and Iraq government, they are targeting the citizens of those countries only as hostages. Right? Look at the next question. Name the state government which decided to purchase a 2050 square feet house in London for rupees 40 crore where Mr. B. R. Ambedkar lived. Mr. B. R. Ambedkar during the year 1921-1922 when he was studying at London School of Economics. When he was studying London School of Economics, this roughly 2000 square feet house, he stayed there when he was studying in London School of Economics and subsequently now the house owner of that house put that house for sale. Meanwhile, Maharashtra government came forward to purchase that house so as to convert it as a museum. Remember, this house is in London and Maharashtra state government came forward to purchase that house so as to convert it into a museum. Right? Look at the next question. Arundhati Subramaniam won the inaugural Kushwan Singh Memorial Prize for Poetry. Recently, 8th G Literature Festival was held at Jaipur. We have already discussed about the DSC Prize in Literature of $50,000 which was won by Jumpalahari for her book The Lowland. We have already discussed previously and now this award is inaugural Kushwan Singh Memorial Prize for Poetry for her work When God is a Traveler. These are basically poems. For these Arundhati Subramaniam got Kushwan Singh Memorial Award and the prize money here is rupees 2 lakh. Right? When God is a Traveler is the poems written by Arundhati Subramaniam. Right? Look at the next question. Sarojini Mahishi who died recently was the union minister in the cabinet of late Indira Gandhi. She was the union minister in the Indira Gandhi cabinet and she belongs to Dharwad of Karnataka, Dharwad region of Karnataka and she died recently who worked as union minister in Indira Gandhi cabinet. Right? Look at the next question. Name the state which sacked its deputy chief minister recently. This is Telangana state. The chief minister K. Chandrasekhar Rao sacked Mr. T. Rajaya, the deputy chief minister and Mr. Kadiam Srihari, 
became the new deputy chief minister so the answer for this question is telangana the newly formed state of indian union this is the 29th state of the indian union carved out of the erstwhile andhra pradesh right look at the next question novel laureate v s naipal recently attended in spite of his ill health he came and attended jaipur g jaipur literary festival held at jaipur G Literary Festival held at Jaipur. V S Naipal attended G Literature Festival in spite of his ill health. Look at the next question. Trophy for the best picture at the Producers Guild of America Awards. This every year, Producers Guild of America Awards. You can call it PGA Awards. Producers Guild of America. Here the Trophy for the best picture was won by Birdman. The director is Alessandro Gonzalez, and Michael Keaton is the hero of this film. Michael Keaton is the hero. Alessandro Gonzalez is the director of this film. So the best picture award has gone to Birdman. We are all awaiting the awards of Oscars this year, right? Look at the next question. Students of Sigaram Matriculation Higher Secondary School. Students of Sigaram Matriculation Higher Secondary School. They created world record with the world's biggest national flag with salt and colors. The size of the national flag is three thousand four hundred and fifty-six square meters. Three thousand four hundred and fifty-six square meters. They used forty-three thousand two hundred kgs of salt and sixteen hundred kgs of colors. The answer is Tamil Nadu. Look at the next question. At eighth G Literature Festival, Bajju Shyam and Venkat Raman Singh Shyam won the this is Art Award that is Ozas Art Award. So Jaipur Literature Festival, you should not forget DSC Award of fifty thousand dollars given to Jumpa Lahari for her book The Lowland and two lakh value Kushvan Singh Memorial Award for poetry. was given to arundhati subramaniam and the third award this 8th g literature festival bajju shyam and venkat raman singh shyam won the ozas art award these three awards please don't forget right next question thousands of protesters took to the streets to protest against the 100 billion dollar upgradation program of trident nuclear power plant in united kingdom they want to upgrade the existing trident nuclear power by spending 100 billion dollars to protest against this several people took to the streets demanding that no expansion should be done unless safeguards are taken first please take the safeguards then only expand it so this trident nuclear power plant is in united kingdom the answer is united kingdom next rbi advanced the deadline to provide banking services in unbanked areas now 11 and 1/2 crore accounts were opened providing services to these people is very important so with the help of business correspondents please expand your services the deadline was revised to august 14 2015 rather deadline was preponed to august 14 2015 right the answer is august 14 2015 Look at the next question. Normally, no collateral security is required in education loans up to rupees. Answer is four lakh. Some of the banks may not be following it, but the answer for this question is normally no collateral security is required in education loans up to rupees four lakh. Look at the next question. Which of the following has got the highest default rate? here education loans home loans commercial real estate loans these three are given please look into it carefully education loans has got the highest default rate because the persons graduated or educated from various universities they are not getting productive employment so that's why they are unable to pay back the education loan so the default rate is the highest in education loan in comparison to the other sectors given here the default rate is around 12 to 13% in education loans that's why banks are not that interested 
for granting education loans right look at the last question of this week as per the revised guidelines of rbi banks can now review the base rate methodology after 3 years only remember two things they have to transparently announce the base rate they have to revise the base rate once in 3 months the second point is whatever the methodology they follow they should not change that methodology up to 3 years they can change that methodology only after 3 years remember 3 months they have to revise the base rate in a transparent way and 3 years is the period where the methodology can be changed after 3 years only they should not touch the methodology being adopted up to 3 years right with this we came to the end of the fourth week we will meet once again for the fifth week lecture and question answer session shortly and with this i think you enjoyed this lecture and question answer session for this week have a nice time we will meet once again after a week right thank you